Hello, my name is Karen Jones, Content Editor for the Society of Technical Analysts. And today we're looking at Euro dollar as it, as it has risen to 16 month highs on the back of uh, CPI data from the US, which showed a falling inflation rate. So uh, it does look like a weaker dollar is pushing Euro dollar up. Um, and as I said, we're in 16 month highs. So where are we today? So if we look at this chart, uh, we can see that the top of the chart, uh, the top of the move is now right at, right at the top of this up channel, which extends back to March. So we may see some slight consolidation here very near term. However, we would expect the previous peaks here at, here at 110.95 and again in the February high at 110.33 to now offer near term support. Uh, and essentially, while you're above the 110 region, it is going to be well placed for further gains. Now, why do I say that? Well, firstly, we've got a confirmed buy signal on the daily DMI. That's the directional movement index. And by confirmed, I mean that the blue line has taken out the previous peaks on the uh, orange line. So that is a confirmed buy signal on the DMI. Also, more importantly, is we've taken out this crucial resistance point on the chart. Now that was at 110 and a half, approximately 111. Uh, and it was the previous uptrend and it had been acting as very good resistance here on the top side. It's now been taken out. It does suggest that there is further upside scope uh, and our attention longer term has reverted to this downtrend going all the way back to the 2008 peak. Uh, it comes in uh, around 116 and a half ish. Uh, and I think that once you get through uh, this 112.70 level, which is the Fibonacci level here, 112.70, the 61.8% retracement of the move down from the 21 peak, you will be looking for moves towards that downtrend at 116 and a half. Thanks very much.